Tough game, huh? Ah, uh, no, no, no. I'll admit, this is a game that I wasn't particularly excited for. And I've seen the team sheet. Whew. Jesus. Their manager must have been like, Ah, that's completely unfair. I was like, oh, Darwin's starting? Salah, not Endo. Okay. Because the other way, Liverpool, I don't know why they do it. Liverpool, if you're watching, which you almost certainly are not. Can you give us the team sheet in order of position instead of order of number? It starts from the lowest number and goes all the way to the top. I'm like, okay, he's here. Oh no, he, he was there then. And like, just, just give us it. Why are you making us work, you know? So as I go through the list, I'm like, oh, okay. Somebody's leaving Anfield in a body bag. <laughs> three goals in three minutes, 12 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. First goal, Darwin Nunes. Of course. The most informed, yeah, I'll say it again. The most informed striker in Europe. Nine goals and nine starts. Cool as you like as well. He doesn't smash it. He doesn't try at him crazy. Just, boop. Just the ball comes to him. He keeps it low. Boom. It wasn't, it wasn't one of his textbook Vamos! So it was more... Vamos. Now I'm, now I'm glad Jürgen's played him. He gets himself a little top-up of confidence. Um, not that he needs it, as we discussed. It's self-sustaining. So, on the fucking yes scale, it's Darwin Nunes. It's Darwin Nunes. And quite a rare goal at Anfield for him. I mean, not rare, but in comparison to the amount of goals he scored, most of them are away from home. So I'd like to see him scoring where he is... Universally appreciated. Kept it low, right in the corner. Fucking yes scale, seven. My man Darwin. Is it, I mean, he's very rarely ever gonna be lower than a seven, to be honest. So we're busy celebrating, like, yay, Darwin Nunes, yay. And it's like, oh, what, what, uh, what? It's like, Bobby Clark scores his first goal, and the cameras completely miss it. I was like, what, 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 what? Wow! They'll never let us show that again. Not in a million years. <laughs> uh, but I was made up for him. This is the first in a series of calamitous defensive errors. Just let us let us walk right in. They they they, they open the door and say, "There you go, victories that way, lads." And we said, "Oh, thank you very much." Oh, this is easy. Yet another youngster who uh, gets himself a nice little moment. Aesthetically speaking, it's a shame the keeper got a little touch on it, but that's very that's being very nitpicky. But first goal at Anfield in Europe, two goals in two minutes, fucking yes scale, eight. Go on, Bobby. And then a minute later, they bloody did it again. <laughs> oh, it was one of those, you know, I was just saying a few weeks ago where it's like, oh, I've missed that, like, you know, two and two minutes sort of feeling. We got three and three minutes. I mean, they give it, I mean, it's just, what, I mean, what are they doing? <laughs> I mean, you've got to ask, what are they doing? Um... They give it straight to Mo Salah with nothing but space. Keeper decides to go penalty shootout mode and just guess where he's going to shoot. The green's that way. Sure. We know he loves goals. He needs, he needs goals. He doesn't just love goals. He needs them. I loved how emphatic the finish was as well. Just, <clears throat> what, are you, what are you thinking? <laughs> that goal is another record-breaking moment for Salah. He becomes the first player in Liverpool's history History to score 20 plus goals in seven consecutive seasons. Not Hunt, not Keegan, not Kenny, not Rushy, not Robbie, not Torres. No one else has done it. How lucky, how lucky we are to be witnessing one of Liverpool's greatest players of all time. And we're just witnessing it and enjoying it and basking in it. Fucking yes, scale nine. Fucking love you, Mo. And then the fourth. <laughs> oh, lads, what are you doing? You know, it was one of those, like, first goal, first goal feeling was like, yes, all right. And then the second goal straight after was like, hey, great. And then Salah's third, Salah's third, you're like, <laughs> and then by the fourth, you're like, ah. Like, ah, lads, <laughs> what are you doing? It felt, it felt bad to celebrate. I mean, this was one where it's like, okay, the ball's crossed in. You're like, ah, that, that defender there will, is going to block it. Like, nobody just decides 
Well, did you call me? Gakpo has a fairly easy finish. And Gakpo, I'm happy for him to get a goal. To be fair, like he's in a front line with some of the best attackers in Europe, the world. He just hasn't quite settled into a bit of into a groove. Do you know, he just hasn't found a groove. That's a, that's his big thing. Uh, so I was happy. So I was happy for him. I'm happy for him when he gets a goal. Cause I'm like, good, good, good. Keep going. Just, just fucking keep going, Cody. Fucking yes, scale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a six. I felt a bit bad at this stage. Klopp's making a statement with this team. I was like, oh my Christ. It, it, you know what? It got to the point where Liverpool were attacking like a minute after that again. <laughs> I, I actually said, oh no. <laughs> when have I ever said that about Liverpool on the attack? Oh no, don't do it. Do it. Like this was just a game where we just got to enjoy Liverpool. You know? And I feel like they're few and far between, especially at this end of the season. This could arguably arguably be our last our last game like this where we just get to enjoy the club without any pressure and just be like, hey, I'll have a big love in. This could be our last one under Klopp. So they get a goal back. Yeah, it's, that's, you know, it's, it's just one of them, isn't it? If Quibian was being a bit hard on himself, I said, CK, you're playing for a spot in the quarterfinals of a European competition, you know? Anyway, he anyway, I'm not going to get into it. That's between me and him. But um, he 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 definitely appreciated it. And um, and I said, look, I said, look, save it. All your frustration, save it for Sunday, Big C. He said, thank you, Andy. You're so smart. You're so funny. You're so insightful. I was like, CK, please, you're a legend. Okay. The sooner you realize that, the better. And I think and I think the penny dropped with him there. Now when I said that, he was like, you know what? Yeah. I am a fucking legend. And I said, that's right. Love you, Big C. And then so the second half rolls around. Within minutes, we've scored again. Sabo, delighted for him. Delighted that he gets his goal. Aesthetically pleased, and let's face it, it wasn't the, it wasn't the prettiest. It was more of a, <laughs> your sort of goal. Um, fucking yes scale, I'll give it a six. It was only as the match went on and players weren't getting injured, I was like, genius genius move this this isn't it's like i'm so stupid like this isn't this isn't a this isn't a football match this is a blade sharpening exercise and then elliot scores well actually no gakpo scores <laughs> my my reaction to it was like whoa, 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 whoa. and then i see the replay and i realize gakpo has got a tasty little flick on the end of it i was like whoa, 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 whoa. what a finish in the end and then <laughs> Elliot just pushing him away like you prick <laughs> to be fair I think it was going wide if it wasn't for Gakpo's tasty little flick fucking yes scale 8 go on Gak you gotta you got give an 8 for something like that little little flick there and then you know what I loved about this as well we're 6-1 up 11-2 <laughs> on aggregate I've got no business in this competition and how many times do you see it where like a a vastly superior team are thrashing some poor schlubs at home and the stadium is just dead because there's like, it, ah, it's, a, it's a cakewalk. But 55, 60 minutes, 6 1 up, the fans still going, ole, ole, ole. Players still pressing all the way to the last minute. They're still pressing um, and chasing people down. Yes, fucking yes. That's my club. That's our club. We just got to enjoy it. We just got to enjoy the Reds, be the Reds. Now, granted, the level of competition definitely goes up um, after this. Uh, it won't be as easy as this uh, for the rest of the competition, but good luck. So you can see here, he gives he gives the fist pumps as he does, and you're like, fucking yes, Jürgen. And then he's like, and then he's saying to the other side, we got to calm down. There's a lot of games to go. There's more games. we got to go, oh, okay, then. <laughs> And then looking looking ahead to Sunday, I'm a little bit nervous because United are decent sometimes. But you know what? I'm mostly just been like, fucking, come on then. Come on then. You know, it's a must win. Oh, my light's gone off. Well, that's my signal. I will be back on Monday. Unfortunately, I won't be here in my lovely studio. So you may have to um, deal with a bit more of a low resolution me from my house sort of video on Monday. But it will be there. And we'll be reacting to Man United versus Liverpool.
Brilliant, isn't it? This is football just brilliant. Anyway, I've rattled on enough. Have a brilliant weekend. Thank you very much for the support. And up the fucking Reds.